Hi guys, this is Unders and this is going to be part two of the sampling section that we're looking at with alchemy. So I said in the last one, if you've watched that, we were looking at pitch related things and sampling there. It's got a separate mode, which is for drum kits. And what I'm going to guide you through here is just a quick example of how to set up alchemy for using with drum kits. And what I've just done here is set up a quick MIDI pattern for a little hip hop beat, grab some samples and made two kits so you can actually swap between them and listen to different bits of them. For example, all I need to do is hit the tab and go on to the next preset that I've made, which we see the presets up here. So we've got kit example one, it's gonna to go to kit example two, keep playing the same pattern. And you can build these up so you can work with them in your music and you can make the sort of pattern you're after and keep flicking through them. So I'll show you how I made them. So let's go and clear it back to default. Happy day, so we're back down to nothing, just sort of waves. Wonderful sort of waves. Okay, so as usual, we're gonna click over on here and we go import audio. If we look across the top here, I've already got the archive I need selected. Now, if you don't know how to navigate down the side here, what I recommend you do is drag and drop from Finder or a folder if you're on Windows into the drop zone, import it. When you do that and go back to here, it will have the location of that file that it's reading. It will give you this at the top. So up here, I've used some hip hop drums from my friend AD, um, aka Anno Domini, massive producer. You've probably heard of him. If you Google him right now, there's a ton of websites. He's got huge credits to his name. This is one of his drum libraries that he gave me some time ago now, still using it. And I thought it'd be really good for this example. So what's key for doing what I just did, where you can flip between different ones and using the same pattern is that you import your sounds in the same order. So if I click on the drum collection up here, I tend to, when I'm making a track, start with a kick. If I grab kick four, we're then gonna go back we are going to grab a snare second. Let's grab, what do we like? What do we like? We like snare 11. Snare 11 is good. And then we'll go hat. Oh, we like that one. We like hi hat nine. And generally we'll grab an open as well. Yeah, we'll go with that. So we've just used those four samples there. And it's specifically that like I've grabbed them in those order because it's going to assign them to the same keys. Okay, so it's going to go sequentially starting from C1. So kick's always going to be on C1 here. The snare will always be on the sharp and so forth. Key thing, make sure this is on sampler at the bottom because by default it's on spectral. Not going to help us in this situation. And the mapping here now needs to be set so that it goes onto drum. And the drum is going to set these sounds sequentially. So if we now go import, Fingers crossed, I'll press play and it's going to be the same beat with new samples. Perfect. Let's save that as. I just made some example kit for this session. It's got example three. Now I should be able to flip between all three of them. Cool, so that's a good way to use the sampler to really quickly make up some kits. Now you can be a lot more inventive. I have set myself up a few of my DMB kicks. For example, I've got the arm in break broken up over the keyboard so that I can just open that up. It's ready to go. I don't have to recut it up and do any work with it really. And the reason that's great is I'm gonna go into now. So if you're doing drum and bass and you're looking at tweaking an arm and break, you wanna be able to pan, pitch and whatnot, each different bits of the samples, which we can have a look at doing here. So we're gonna take this first kick sample and we're gonna hit into edit. You see we're on the kick down here in the zone. If we play, it's a nice weighty kick. We could make it a little bit weightier by just knocking it down two semitones. Yeah, I like that. 
Then, let's maybe go to the snare and let's have a little play with that. That's quite a nice, really pitched up. Gives a real difference. Oh, three semis there. That's giving a crazy juxtaposition now between the two. And maybe we could grab the hi hat and we could put that off to the right a little bit. And let's set the open hi hat around the same position. You got a much more dynamic drum kit going, and it is really as easy as that to uh, to mix them up. And you can do as and what you need. You can get a little bit more crazy with them. And obviously, pitch them right the way all over the place. We've got the full spectrum of nice for drum kits just to work between a couple of semitones just to sort of pitch them so they're all working nice together yeah okay, that's good that's before we could use the effects within here we could use ads software but for drum kits generally you just want to hit the standard release just to trail off if uh, if i'm working on dnb i tend to do a really short release because the drum needs to cut off real quick but hip-hop we can let it flow a little bit like that you're generally going to want the attack straight out, solid, uh, solid, just a little play, let the sample play through as it normally would. Um, that, that's it really for getting a kit set up and then just flicking through them. drifted into the realms of alchemy cool so that's how to set up some drum kits and be able to flick through them yourself uh, within alchemy enjoy <laughs>